All right, in this video, we are going to try and solve this problem. Uh, basically, we're trying to find the area of these two green squares given not a lot of information, just the, these two line lengths of seven and three units. So, you know, let's get started on this. Let's see what we're gonna do. Um, the moment I see this problem, so as I'm looking at this problem, I'm already seeing like a hope for a couple of um, Pythagorean theorem opportunities here. Uh, for example, let's see, right here, this guy, let's clean it up a little bit. Right, so there is one um, right triangle that I kind of see, and then I see another one down here. Uh, so down here, and I'm wondering if, let's see if I could clean that up right there. All right. There we go. Kind of good. Close enough. <laughs> and I'm wondering if we can see, uh, make some sort of connection between these two uh, right triangles and see if that kind of helps us find the answer to the area of these two squares. So let's start with uh, just giving this square all A's and let's call this square all B's. And uh, because I know that this and this are a's, and then this becomes our hypotenuse. So our a squared plus a squared is equal to that thing. So uh, let's say a squared plus the other a squared is equal to x squared. And what I mean by that is this is going to be that value right there. So a squared plus a squared is equal to this hypotenuse squared. So we get 2a squared is equal to x squared. So if we do the square root of both sides, we get the square root of 2a. All right, so that tells us this entire length is the square root of 2a, which means just this length right there is half of that. So that's going to be the square root of 2 divided by 2a. And that means this length right here is the square root of 2 divided by 2a. And so now we can see, and I can make this smaller and get it out of our way. Uh, I can now see that we have kind of enough information to start to kind of put things together here. And we've got this leg is uh, root 2 over 2a. Two and then this length is an addition statement. It's, it's root 2 over 2a two plus the b. And then our hypotenuse is 7. So let's do this in light green. So we're going to have, let's see, square root of 2 over 2, a. And then we're going to square that. And so that's this length. And then this length is going to be plus square root of 2 over 2, a plus b squared. And that's going to equal 7 squared. So we've got this leg. This leg is equal to the hypotenuse. All right. So now let's just kind of clean this up. So let's do this algebra, clean it up a little bit. So this squared right here, that's going to be um, <clears throat> 1 half a squared uh, because we've got root 2 times root 2 is 2, and then 2 times 2 is 4. So 2 over 4 is 1 half a squared. And then we're going to do this right here. I'm going to do it in my head, so you might need to pause your video, but this is going to be, let's see, 1 half a squared plus 2 copies of root 2 over 2ab plus b squared is equal to 49. All right, so basically I just uh, let's see, right there. I kind of squared that and got this ugly answer right here. Um, now we let's simplify. We can simplify a little bit. So these guys come together and that gives us a squared. And then I'm going to bring over the b squared. And then, then that's going to be plus root 2 ab is equal to 49. So uh, these guys come together to make an a squared. I put the b squared up in the front. The 2's cancel, so that gives us root 2 times AB, and that's equal to 49. All right, so now we got that, and I'm going to make that a little smaller and get it out of our way. And let's put it right there. 
all right? And then uh, we got this same idea down here for this triangle. So um, we know this length is root 2 over 2a, so that means this length is also root 2 over, let's do it in dark green, root 2 over 2a. So that's that length right there. Now this length right here is going to be a sub subtraction statement. It's going to be root 2 over 2a, so that's this length, that entire length, but then we're going to subtract a b from it. So this length right here is going to be root 2 over 2a subtract a b. And then we're already told that this length is a 3. There is our Pythagorean theorem. So that's going to be root 2 over 2a quantity squared plus, and then it's going to be root 2 over 2a minus b quantity squared is equal to 3 squared. All right, so root 2 over 2a, that's this guy, and we're going to square it. And then root 2 over 2a minus b, that's going to be this leg, and that's going to equal the hypotenuse squared, which is 3 squared. So now we just have some cleanup work to do here, and it's kind of similar to what we already did. So this is 1 half a plus, this is going to be 1 half a squared. I should have said 1 half a squared, and then plus another 1 half a squared, and then this is going to be minus two copies of root 2 over 2ab plus b squared is equal to 9. All right, so here is the square there. These three terms is the square here, and then 9 is the square of 3 squared, and so now we just got to clean it up. So we've got a squared plus b squared. Um, let's see, these twos cancel. And so that gives us uh, minus root 2 a b is equal to 9. All right, and uh, we can shrink that up a little bit. But now here's the cool thing, and I'm going to kind of zoom in on both of these guys a little bit. Check this out. We've got an a squared plus b squared, and we've got an a squared plus b squared. Now that's the answer. Here's our a squared. Here's our b squared. <laughs> All right. So somehow here lives our answer. Um, but then we also see that a squared plus b squared, a squared plus b squared. If I do a little bit of math, so I'm going to kind of, uh, let's see, green. I'm going to move some stuff. And this equals a squared plus b squared, and then that's going to be equal to 49 minus root 2ab. Because all I did was move this guy over, and then I could do the same thing down here. All right, And I could say, well, this is equal to a squared plus b squared is equal to uh, 9 plus root 2ab. All right, so now we've got a squared plus b squared equaling this. We've got a squared plus b squared is equal to this. So that means these two guys are equal to each other. So let's do that in purple. So that means 49 minus root 2ab is equal to 9 plus root 2ab. So now we have a little bit more algebra to simplify here. And we move stuff around, and we end up with 40 is equal to two copies of uh, root 2 AB. So that means AB is equal to 40 over 2 root 2. So AB is equal to 20 over root 2. All right, so that's important. That's important because now I know that uh, let's oh let's do uh, let's do this guy right here this guy let's start with him so I'm gonna copy him I'm gonna bring him down and let's make him a little bit larger right there all right so now I all I have to do is take this 20 over root 2 stick it in here 
for the AB right here, AB is equal to 20 over root two, and that's gonna give me the answer of A squared plus B squared. So this is kind of cool. All right, so that's gonna be, let's, oh, uh, well, let's do it in red. So that's gonna be A squared plus B squared is equal to 49 minus root two times 20 over root two. Because all I did was take this AB, which is 20 over root two, <clears throat> and I just brought it over there. And so that's gonna be nice because then these root twos cancel. And so we now get a squared plus b squared is equal to 49 minus 20. So a squared plus b squared is equal to 29. And that's the answer. Holy moly, that's the answer then. So we know that a squared, oops, <coughs> I'm not even gonna edit that. A squared plus b squared is equal to 29. And that's our answer right there. Oh, that is that is really cool. So that wraps up this question where we were given a very little information. This the one line is seven, the other line is three, and we figured out that the area of those two squares is 29 square units. Hey, don't forget. If you made it this long, 11 minutes in, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and definitely give me some of your comments because I love seeing you guys share some ideas that are like better than my way of thinking. And so make sure you share. I'll see you.